list of things that you cannot do while being black in America, we can add picking up your siblings from the wrong house. Now, this is the story of Ralph Yarl, a 16-year-old junior in high school who was sent to pick up his two younger siblings at an address in Kansas, Missouri. Now, he went to 115th Terrace instead of 115th Street to get his siblings. And while he was at the wrong address, an unknown uh, white man at the time of this recording shot through the glass, hitting him, and then went outside and shot Ralph in his head to make sure he was dead. But as Sean King reports, and this is courtesy of him, I might add, he survived miraculously. And so he is, as of this time, still fighting for his life. And they said that he is making a good recovery. So thank God for that. However, that white man, it sounds like he has tried to invoke the standard ground law, right? Because standard ground basically means that you have the right to shoot and up to kill somebody if you feel like your life is in danger, also known as the castle doctrine. So you're defending your castle, your house, right? That's what he's trying to say. So the police there in Kansas City did detain him. However, they released him. And as Sean King said, he was able to go and potentially destroy all types of evidence. And to this recording, he has not been arrested. And so he has brought in the help of attorney Benjamin Crump and attorney Lee Merritt to try to get this case or actually Ralph and his family some justice because that's what he deserves. They said he is a good 16-year-old kid. And you know what? Me personally, I hate to even have to say, oh, he was a good kid and he didn't deserve what happened to him because even if he was a bad kid, right, and he was just going to pick up his siblings, he did not deserve what happened to him. And so unfortunately, that young man happened upon the door of a racist. Let's just call it what it is. That white man who was unknown at this time saw the opportunity to bag him one, if you will, to kill him one and then justify it. And he's probably friends with the police officers because we know that Kansas City Police Department, they have a lot of issues, but that's a whole nother story for another day. But he did that with full well knowing that he would get away with it. And the other sick part about that devil is after he did that to that young black boy, he got out of jail and probably went home and ate his wife's nasty casserole and closed his eyes and had a good night's sleep knowing that he did that. And so Sean is asking us to do a couple of things, and I'm going to list them here so you can see. But basically, call the authorities there in Kansas City, Missouri, and say, not on our watch. Y'all need to go pick that devil up and hold him responsible for what he did to our black boy, 16-year-old Ralph, okay? So I'm going to call. I impress upon you guys to call because, nah, the, as, as Lee Merritt said, the uh, lawyer that is helping, it's on us. It's on us to make sure we do all we can to get him and the many before him and, unfortunately, the many after him some justice. So y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.